next we're going to look at how to add an action bar to our tab based application. So the view navigator objects represent the tabs and the view stacks that are contained inside them. We can specify here that we're going to have two tabs the first view that gets loaded into each, the fact that they're taking up 100% of the width, and whatever labels we're putting on them. Any content that I put inside here is going to be content for that view. And specifically, what we want to look at is the action bar. So the bar that goes across the top of the application with the buttons to do various things, like close the application or move back a view, as well as the title for each of the view. There are three parts to the action bar. The first part is the button on the top left, and that is called the navigation content. The top right is the action content, it's a container for another button, and then the title content, which gets automatically supplied by the view itself. So inside the view tab, we have that title attribute. Right here, title, that's where we set the content that goes, goes inside the middle. So inside my view navigator, I'm going to add at this point a navigation content tag. So this is going to specify the top left. Just a little comment to myself here. Top left. Inside there we can put a label, we can put a button. Typically it's a button. Label. What's going to say on that button? And then if we wanted to put some controls in there, say what the button does. Inside this click attribute I can either point to some script that I put on this page or I can just write navigator what the script is going to do, what will be placed inside that function. So I want to pop to first view. That's the name of the function that I'm going to call. Alright, so that is the button this one and then the navigation content and the second part the action content there we are. inside that I'm going to place another button so our button label this will be our close button for the application and we're going to well we can call a function to uh, exit I'm going to leave that blank for just a moment I just want to show this working. Um, actually, I'll cut that one out as well just for the moment. Run this, and there we are. Here's our application. This is the title bar. This is the navigation content. This is the action content. Here, we just have the title bar. On this one, we have the button and the exit. If there were multiple views inside of this view stack, this would remain the same. The text inside the title would change as we change views, but we will get this button and this button. Let's see what they are, in fact, buttons. By clicking in the middle, nothing happens, but clicking here and here does show that they are buttons. If I want to maintain these buttons and do the exact same thing on the other side, copy this, come down inside the other view navigator, paste that inside there. There we are. Now I have the same navigation content and the same action content in both places. Now it's going to make more sense for me if I call functions instead of writing out the script four times. So inside the first click I'll have a function called go home. I'll pass the click event through to that function. And this will be a function that I call leave. And I'll do the same thing down here to this one. So go home and leave. Those are going to be my two functions that I create up top inside of a script block. There we are. We will have a public function called go home, which is going to accept an event. second function called leave, which also accepts the event, returns nothing, exit from the app, and this one back to the 
first view. All right, so we'll save it. That's what these functions are going to do. For the leave app, leave function, we are going to access the native application class, and we want the native application property, and we are going to call the exit method. That's all that it takes. That will close our application. And both functions are going to call that, so we'll test that one. Rotate. So here's the on the home. Exit. It worked fine. We'll try in the other view. So go over to things and click the exit button. Works there as well. Okay, great. So now what we want to do is we want to make the go home function work for both buttons. So we want to make sure that we go back to the first view of the current view stack. So what we're going to put inside here is a reference to our view navigator first, and then the method pop to first view. This method will automatically jump to the first view in our view stack. So if we run that, here it is, we rotate through that. And we can jump back and forth between the two tabs. If I click on the home button, we are back at the first view inside that view stack.